Hello guys, today we will discuss about infix to postfix conversion. Infix to postfix conversion has a operands and operators. Operands are letters <coughs> like D, E, F, and G. While operators has a symbol of addition, sub subtraction, multiplication, and division, and open and close parentheses, and so on and so forth. There are four rules. First, priorities of operators. Highest priority is exponent. And the next priority is multiplication and division symbol. And the lowest priority is plus and minus. The second rule of infix to postfix conversation conversion is no two operators of same priority can stay together in stack column and the third rule is lowest priority cannot be placed before highest priority and the last rule is pop up and now this is my example of infix to postfix conversion example open parenthesis d plus e close parenthesis minus open parenthesis f times g close parenthesis and you will put the symbol and stack or the operators and last is postfix or the operands first you you must put the open parenthesis in symbol and you will you also put the open parenthesis in stack or the operators and the next line is you will put the first uh, the D, the letter D in symbol. And you will put also the open parenthesis in stack or the operators. And the postfix, you will put also the letter D because it is operands. The next line, you will put the plus in symbol. And in stack, you will put the open, open parenthesis and the plus symbol in the post fix you will put the letter D because it is the letter of appearance the next line is you will put the letter E in symbol and stock you will put also or an another open parenthesis and plus symbol because Open parenthesis and plus symbol is a uh, operators. Postfix and the postfix you will put the letter D and letter E <laughs> because that both also operands. The next line is you will put the close parenthesis in symbol and and. In stock, you will put also the open parenthesis plus and close parenthesis. <coughs> and in the postfix, you will put D and E. In stock operators, the open parenthesis plus and close parenthesis, it will pop up. And the next line is you will put the minus in symbol. And also, you will put the minus in stack operators. In postfix, you will put the operands D and E. The next line is, you will put the open parenthesis in symbol and open parenthesis also and minus in stack operators. In postfix, you will put again the letter D and E in op operands. The next line is, you will put the letter F in symbol and it will repeat again, put open parenthesis and minus in stack operators. In postfix, the D and E, you will insert a letter F. The next line is, you will put the multiplication sign in symbol and in stack operators, you will also put the open parenthesis minus and 
multiply symbol and post fix you will put again the d e and f and the next line is you will put letter g in symbol and and open parenthesis minus and multiplication symbol in stack operators and in postfix you will put the d e f and you will also already you will also put the letter g and the last line is you will put the close parenthesis in symbol in stack or the operators you will put the open parenthesis minus and the multiplication symbol and close parenthesis and in post fix you will put the d e f g and the minus sign in stack operators in the last line the multiplication will pop up and the result is d e f g minus that is the result of our example this is my example in infix to prefix open parenthesis d plus e and close parenthesis minus open parenthesis f times g close parenthesis plus e in the next line you will transform them into prefix and to make prefixes you will put the operators in front of operands like this open parenthesis plus d e close parenthesis minus open parenthesis times f g close parenthesis plus e the second line is already a prefix because the oper the operators is in the front of operands the third the third line is one the d the t1 is representing of de and the t2 is representing the f and g and the t mi t minus t1 minus t2 is inside the open and close parenthesis then plus e and you will you you will also you will also transform transform them, them into prefix and the symbol in the next line is in the front of operands because because the symbol in front is already a prefix followed by the operands like the fourth line open parenthesis minus t1 and t2 close parenthesis plus e and the next line is t3 plus e the t3 is here inside inside negative t1 negative 2 it representing that negative t1 and negative t negative t1 and t2 and you will also transform that into prefix to transform that into prefix see this arrow is plus open parenthesis open parenthesis t t3 close parenthesis e and then the second is plus minus t1 t2 and e the second is plus minus and d e t2 the second is plus minus d e times f g e and the final the final prefix is plus minus d d e times f g e thank you